Hey everybody, welcome to the Newgrounds Podcast. We got a really fun show tonight. Not only do we have a very special guest, uh, Milky Possum, how you doing? Yeehaw. But we have a new official host to the show. Uh, his his name is Man Bull Child Calf Bull Bull Boy. Bull Boy. Bull Boy. Child Calf. Child Calf. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you got it. You, child got, calf. you got it, right? That's right. <laughs> no, no, no. The other one. So you may may have noticed we didn't do the uh, main intro to the show like we normally do with all the host names. Uh, part of that is because we don't have the nice robot lady saying Bull Boy's name. The other part is we are planning on eventually updating our intro and having Podchan bring everybody in. And that's going to be a lot of fun. But we don't have a voice actress for Podchan yet. So... We are on the lookout. I don't know what form that's going to take, but uh, we will probably be posting a lot about that in the near future. Uh, just just send uh, any moan compilations you have to Zin Zinix, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> so anyway, here we are. Welcome to the show, everybody. Woo! We did it. We got through the boring stuff. We did it. So, Milky Possum, welcome to the show. You have been blowing up on the site in like such a short time. What the hell is up with that? I don't know, and I'm scared. <laughs> um, I, I honestly, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just having fun. Fun on Newgrounds. I'm, I, I'm shocked and appalled. <laughs> I oh, you're not had using Newgrounds yet, right? If you're yet. not miserable, then you're just you must be doing something wrong. Have you been reading the reviews? There's got to be something. <laughs> Uh, yeah, some of those I just ignore. <laughs> it's true. I feel like some some of the reviews, okay, some of the reviews on music stuff is like very very subjective, and I feel like if if what I made doesn't match what the person's like personal taste is, sometimes they'll just comment that. But I'm like, that's not actually very helpful. Like the reviews that are helpful are like, mm, could you mix this a little bit better? Or like try panning it this way. And I'm like, thank you. See, that's that's cool. But I don't know. The other ones don't make me miserable. They're just kind of funny. <laughs> Could you just put this on the left channel and only the left channel, please? Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm deaf in my right ear. This isn't fair. Should yeah. I pan my recording audio so that they only hear me in one ear and nobody can fix it? Perfect. <laughs> 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 but yeah, so how long have you uh, how long have you been making music for? Um, I want to say since uh twenty. Okay, so I first started like messing around with things in 2012. And up until this point, like, the only instruments I play in real life are, like, piano and bass. And I, I don't know, I, I never really, like, posted the music that I would make anywhere. This is, like, a disturbing fact, but the first thing that I, like, tried to make music for was, like, when, oh my god, when Homestuck was still a thing and they would have music contests. So oh. <laughs> that's, that's what prompted me to start making things. And then I was like, I like this, so let me keep going. Um, But I, like, I don't know, I didn't have any confidence in, like, building a song and I didn't think that I could like write a melody or anything. So I started covering like making like covers of video game music. And that's what really I feel like taught me like pretty much everything I know right now and like dynamic wise. Um, and then, yeah, all of a sudden in April of this year, I was like, mm, I just turned 24. I guess I should upload something. Like I got to do something. Like I can't, I can't be shy anymore. I should just do it. And then I made a new grounds account, a new one. That wasn't my disturbing old one. Did you have an old, like, really cringy name before? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Would you like to know it? Yeah! I deleted it. That doesn't exist anymore. Oh, man. It was... I was on DeviantArt and Newgrounds and everything else. Derpy Tacos. <laughs> it's disgusting. That's that's not the worst name. I mean... It could be worse, I guess. I've been, I've been using the same cringy name since the late 90s, so, I mean... Yeah, he's yeah, so crazy. <laughs> I don't know if it does, but <laughs> I'm too lazy to change, too old to change. So what kind of uh what kind of music did you start making? Like you you're kind of well known for doing like hip hop type stuff nowadays, but th is that what you've always done or did you just kind of mm -hmm. do more I feel like the first tracks that I tried to make by myself were drum and bass things because I've always loved drum and bass music so much. Um and I wanted to make it myself to see if I could and so that was like those were like the first tracks that I posted on Newgrounds and I didn't start getting ballsy and like experimenting with the hip-hop stuff until like a couple months afterwards because I was 
I was nervous about like how it would be received. I wasn't sure that people would like it. So I like held off on it for a little bit. And then here we are. It's like the best shit ever. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I don't, I'm I don't, I don't pull boy is a huge fan of your hip hop. Cause he fucking, yeah. he loves hip hop in general. So like, he's like, I we gotta get her on the show. <laughs> like, we have to get Milky Possum on the show. And we did. <laughs> That's my bad yeah, impression. <laughs> Whenever I'm on like the audio portal, like don't get me wrong, I love Newgrounds, like the Newgrounds like audio portal, but it's very much just like a couple of genres, and like you're the first person I've seen that's come in and like done like sampling in like an actual like stylistic way. And like no one else I haven't seen any the only person I can think of is like kind of Kawaii Sprite, but like for the most part, you're kind of a pioneer in that sense. I'm uh, that's so it's it's interesting to hear that because I feel like I've gotten really nice messages on Newgrounds, actually, of, like, people saying that, and I'm like, oh, shit. Like, and I get it, like, because I I listen around to a lot of things in the audio portal, and, yeah, I agree, like, some of the things are, like, same-samey, I guess, but I really hope that, like, I want to see everybody, like, I don't know, try something fucking weird. I think that that makes it fun. I like to see what everybody's, like, individual weird, like, I don't know what they what comes out of their little brains. I love listening to people's like heartfelt fucking original weird shit because I feel like it's like a direct stream of consciousness from their mind. Like you could learn so much about somebody just from what they make. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, in terms of like music taste, what do you, what would you say is like your like big inspirations for your, like your music style? Oh man, um, there's so many. There's like like a bunch of video game soundtracks. Like I feel like everybody knows that I'm a fucking obsessed with the Bomberman Heroes soundtrack. That is that was like one of the first video game soundtracks that I heard that was so out of the box that I like I was like fuck. All right, maybe there is a place for me in this industry. If like somebody could do this and it made it into a game, maybe there's a place for me in this industry if I don't want to make like the same same stuff. And then uh, aside from that like old school rap. I grew up with old school rap and reggae. So those are like really, really big influences in like the way that I write and compose um, and drum and bass, mostly because my dad had good music taste. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask, like you're relatively young. So to, to be that into the old school rap, I was wondering how you got into that. But yeah, if your dad's cool, that would explain it. Yeah, my dad's hella cool. He, <laughs> we listen to like everything together. There's, like, really fucking funny videos of me as, like, this tiny-ass little, like, three, four-year-old singing, like, Busta Rhymes. It's great. I was such a G. <laughs> you, you and your dad are, like, rolling up the intersection, just singing along, busting out dad the ass. In New York City, too, baby. In New York City, too. Nice. <laughs> I was waiting for Ben to ask something. Yeah, dying. me too. Oh, I, was, I didn't want to hog the mic. No, nah, man. Go, go. You're a host. Come on. Uh, oh, shit. All right. All right. Um, So I guess like off that, like, um, is there any like sort of music you haven't done that you kind of want to like experiment more with or that you like kind of want to introduce people to? Um, hmm. I would probably say I'm definitely like trying to go out of my way right now and create more themed music in the sense of like if I'm I guess it's more like industry focused if I had to describe it like more of like what you'd expect from like game music or something like that because I feel like I really like when I get like asked to go on projects and people are like do whatever you want but then I'm like "Mm, I should probably learn some other stuff too so that's like what I'm trying to do now something I would love to try that I haven't tried before is like very like orchestral like sound score kind of shit like I really would love to be able to do that that's gonna take a hot second but it would be fun um i think that's the only things that i've like really been trying to do that's new and like some other really glitchy stuff but that's coming soon Ooh, all right i'm hyped for that i'm hyped for that <laughs> oh, yeah. and i know you've recently started i know you well i forget what what was the the uh doll you're using before i know you said you just swapped over to studio one how has that been as like a big change i love it i would marry <laughs> studio one i freaking love studio <laughs> I used Mixcraft 9 before, and I have been using Mixcraft since 2012, so... Oh, uh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't feel like... Like, there wasn't really a need for me to change, because I felt like I was still learning things there. But as of recently, with, like... I feel like I've been doing so much that I definitely felt like it started limiting me. So now I feel like I have so much more free reign in Studio One. I really like it. 
What about it is like different that gives you, you think like gives you more sort of freedom to express yourself? I think for me, uh, a big part of like the dolls that I use is like whether, like how visual they are. Um, because like I tried, I tried so many other ones. Like I had a month where I was going through and like every two weeks I was trying a different doll and I really wanted to see which one I would get the most use out of. And this one worked for me. I feel like because it was, you can color code everything, which I really liked so I can keep my tracks really organized. Um, and I don't know, it just, it, it speeds up. Like I use so many samples and a lot of the times in Mixcraft when I would use samples, if there was a certain one that I'd want to use, I would have to go and like specifically turn it up. Like if they're speeded up by hand and like type in, like I'm speeding this up 50.758 times to get it like perfectly on beat. This one does it for me, which is crazy and cuts down on so much time. And like, I don't know, it's just, there's a lot of ease of use and visuals to it that makes it really nice to use. Okay, all right. And then, um, inter- oh, oh, someone, oh, <laughs> I got tripped up. I thought someone joined the channel for a second. Um, is there anyone in particular that you're looking, to, like, now that you're kind of, you're, you know, you're almost at the big 1K, is there anyone that you're looking to try to collab with? Oh, man. Honestly, I don't, well, I feel like this is going to be, I feel like I'm just going to nerd out. <laughs> no, I would, I would love to collab with Stepford someday on a game. I really, really love Stepford's work. I don't think that would be and it was just hard to do. I, I, I think, I think he'd be all for that. I think. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just really, I really like like the direction that he takes his games in, and I really like how passionate he has about like what he makes and that kind of thing. I feel like when I'm on a project, like I really, I don't know. I like to see that from people. Like sometimes I've definitely been on projects where people are like, "I'm making a game just to make a game," but like I feel like I really admire that Stepford like puts his heart into what he does absolutely up there I, I've, I've been wanting to make a game with them for a while uh, hopefully once once the uh summer summer jams are over i'll actually be able to have the chance to do that you should make ha- you guys should you guys all get together and do a halloween game let's, let's make it happen halloween fighting game that'd be sick oh yes halloween fighting dress up rpg game <laughs> can, can it be what? about beating you up josh What's the dress be funny. Up? don't worry about <laughs> dress it dress up josh yeah, just dress me up and beat me up. That's fun. I like it. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> Fighting game is. where you like make your worst life enemy and beat the shit out of them. <laughs> There's like way too many customization options for them, so you can get really specific. <laughs> <laughs> I actually like that's a great idea. Fight your own rival. You make your own rival, <laughs> right? and then you get your ass kicked, and it makes you feel like shit. And you're like, yeah. all right, I'm gonna get back the drawing board. <laughs> So other than music, you've got some uh, some interesting uh, interests and backstories. Uh, you recently posted that uh, you actually did the indie wrestling for a while. How the fuck did you get into that? Oh my god, I have okay. I have a really weird like long list of things that I've tried in my life, but that was definitely one of the most fun things I've ever done. And I ten out of ten would go back um, as long as I don't get like more concussions because that really sucks. Um, but yeah, I've, I've been watching wrestling forever. Again, that's like something that I got from my dad. Like we used to watch wrestling all the time together. My dad and my grandpa, they would watch wrestling. So like by default, I think I was just kind of sucked into it. And then a couple of years ago, I was like, you know, I really fucking like this. And I had just gotten done doing circus stuff. So I just got done doing trapeze and I was looking for something else to do. And then I was like, I'm flexible and I think I'm fit. Like, why don't I just fucking try wrestling? So I started looking into wrestling schools, got into a couple, and uh, then, yeah, that, that was pretty much it. Then I was uh, chilling in the indies for a second. So, okay, rewind. So you, you were in this, this circus, too? Let's hear about this. <laughs> I wanted to do circus stuff. Okay, because I'm like, I don't know why I'm really flexible for, like, no fucking reason. Like, I never fucking did gymnastics. And I was like, I want to do contortionism because I think it'd be cool to freak people out if I just, like, turn into a little pretzel. <laughs> And so I wanted to learn how to do it. And then I got in, I started looking and then I realized that there were so many schools that teach like circus focus arts and like aerial arts. And I was like, you know, it's cooler than contortionism, a fucking trapeze. So I started doing that and, and, uh, aerial silks. And that was really fun. And you didn't even have to run away from home. That's, that's bullshit. No. Back in my day, you had to run away from home to, <laughs> to join the circus. I know. I got yeah, away. Really kidnapping everything. I know. You had to be kidnapped by carnies. And... Get hepatitis. 
blessed by a fortune teller or some shit. I don't know. So, well, what ended up made, what made you uh, stop doing the indie wrestling? Was it just, like any particular reason, or are you just kind of tired of it? Two concussions in a row. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that's fair. That's very yeah, fair. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I took a break. So I took a break from that, and then while I was healing, um, I started doing tattooing. And then oh, shit. now here I am. Hey, I was gonna ask. How, wait, total count. How many tattoos do you have? Um. It's a lot. <laughs> like, I think the last time I counted, I, I have to say it's, like, definitely somewhere over 50, but I don't know, like, by how much. When they do all you touch, tattoos? When they all touch, doesn't it count as one big one? I mean, you could just... Like, <laughs> one. Yeah, you I got, got one. I got one big one. <laughs> <laughs> one giant fucking one. But, uh, oh, yeah, to answer your question, yeah, I have done some of my own tattoos. Okay, that's it. Is it like how do you practice for that? Is that something you like? Do you have like a like a model or something you uh, like work on? So uh, for me, when I started doing that, um, I had like obviously I've, I've been going to like the same guys to get tattooed for like ever. Um, and then I was like, hmm, can I do this? And they were like, yeah, we'll teach you. So I started apprenticing um, under one of the guys there, and yeah, pretty much we used each other. Uh, I used myself, and then I was doing like I was taking people for free and doing tattoos on them. Uh, and then aside from like machine tattooing, I was getting trained in a really specific style because originally we wanted to open like a separate shop for uh, Tabori, which is Japanese hand poked tattoos. So in order to do that, I had to solder my own needles for every tattoo that I was doing, grind ink for every tattoo that I was doing. It was, it's like a really cool specific oh way that it's done. I really enjoyed it. But um, I don't know. I've, I used to do art and shit like that. And I don't know why it didn't occur to me that, like, oh, if you're doing tattoos, like, it's going to be really subjective. And I was like, mm, I don't even like posting my art. Why the fuck am I tattooing people? And then I stopped. <laughs> I was going to ask, how how long have you been doing art? Because I so, know some of your uh, art pieces on the portal are, are like, pretty friggin' good. Thank you. Um, I have been doing art forever. Like, originally, that's what I thought that I wanted to do before music. Like... I always wanted to go to, like, I wanted to be an illustrator when I was, like, really little and, like, didn't know that art school is, like, a whole big-ass thing. And uh, <laughs> so I really wanted to do that at first. Um, and then I started looking to do concept art and spriting for games. But I don't know. Art for me is, like, something I've always been, like, really weird about in the same way that I was about music. But I guess for music, like, I was able to overcome that. For art, I'm still, like, really weird about posting it. So I don't know. So I just stopped and then I... Did music instead and now i like it better <laughs> <laughs> that's fair yeah, yeah art can be pretty rough honestly you, d you didn't miss out much on art school art school just breaks you down and then uh, tells you how you're shit and then you get out of art school and you're like man i'm so much better than everyone else <laughs> yeah i dead ass i wanted to go to art school my parents were like no nope and i was like all right that's fair because i was like still living with them at the time and i remember i was like fuck i don't know what i want to go to college for and uh I don't know what the fuck to do. So I, I was in chorus for like a shit ton of years in school. So I tried out for a <laughs> opera vocal performance and I got in as a fucking major in like a school near me. And I was like, all right, look, mom, I got into college. And then I didn't go the first week because I was like, nah, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just finding it funny how like your parents were like really against art school, but they're, they're totally fine with you doing wrestling school and fucking trapeze and all like that tells you how fucking useless art school is. <laughs> oh, yeah, dead ass. No, I moved out by that time. So I can't <laughs> I'm a grown ass woman. Yeah, dead ass. <laughs> so what do you got uh, going on in the near future? You got any, um, big projects you're planning on putting out any are you looking at maybe doing like a full ep or anything like that soon oh i would love to i don't know if i have the patience to hold back things for that long though like imagine just sitting on tracks for so long i don't know if i have that kind of patience um <laughs> i would like to do something like that i have like a lot of ideas i just need to get to doing them um right now i've been mostly collaborating for a lot of people with uh first summer jams um I have a couple of, like, game projects that are coming out. One we've definitely spoken about, so I am de I can definitely say it. Uh, we have, a, like, a puzzle game coming out. Um, it's me, um, Ninja Muffin, and Figburn. And that we've been chipping away at. It was originally an Egg Jam game, and it got moved into, like, just becoming an actual thing. 
So that's coming out soon ish, I think, maybe. But uh yeah, I think that's like the last big thing. The rest are like things that I can't really say. Oh, sounds yeah. like somebody got hired to work on Friday Night Fun Club. That's what it sounds like. Oh, no. I wish. (laughs) (laughs) If that was the case, I would definitely just make a really obvious hint, but it's not the case. So, sad. Yet. Yet. We're we're, we're putting it out there. We're putting it out there. (laughs) Listen, I'm just saying an old school week would be really cool. Heck yeah. And that's it. That's that's all it has to be. It's cool. (laughs) All right, guys, thanks for this episode. We'll see you all next time. I hope you all had a great time. Shut the hell up. <laughs> so going back to the old school rap stuff, like, who who are some of your favorite artists? Um, Busta Rhymes, definitely. Beanie Man, um, fuck. If we want to go, like, weird old school, definitely Nuja Bees. I fucking... Ooh. Um... I'm trying to think, like, what else? Who else do I like really listen to? Um, Cypress Hill is probably Ooh. one of my favorites. I fucking love Cypress Hill. Hell yeah. Is Cypress that Hill. MC Hammer? <laughs> 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 yeah, that's kind of the, the same type of stuff I was into. Uh, fucking. God, there's so many of those old hip hop bands that just. I don't know. It's something about when that you start era. trying to think about it. Yeah, when you start I trying know. to think about individual artists, they fly out of your brain. And I'm like, shut the fuck up, self. But yeah, there's, <laughs> yeah, there's, there's definitely something about like the sound back then. I really, I really loved it. Like, I, I definitely still like music right now. But like, I don't know. There's it, it hit different. <laughs> what are you? Uh, what are you listening to currently? Um, I feel like I listen to so much shit. Uh. I feel you on that. Certified lover boy. And uh, mostly because my, my cat really likes that album. And um, Most cats do. Yeah. If your cat doesn't like Drake, get rid of it. Um, I don't know. I feel like most of, my, most of my time has been spent, like, I've been going crazy, like, going through and finding really old, weird, like, Sega games and trying to find the soundtracks for them. Because I feel like that's where I find, like, some good hidden gems and good inspiration. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> but it's really funny. So I didn't start listening to him until like a lot more recently. Like I knew of Jet Set Radio, but I'd never like listened to the soundtrack before anything. And then when I started making shit, everybody was like, oh, that sounds like Hideki Naganuma. And then I was like, okay. And so I looked him up and I was like, oh shit, this is fire as fuck. And I get it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and actually, for the longest time, I thought that was that was what you were basing your music off of. That's pretty wild to know that you didn't even know that he, like that's like he existed in that in that sense. I didn't, and I felt bad because I was like, I know people love Jet Set Radio. Like, imagine not knowing about it right now, and that would be me. Like, well, I think I knew it existed, but like I never looked into it. I just thought it was cool looking. But then I was like, I started getting all these comments that are like, Jet Set Radio, your music sounds like Jet Set Radio, and it was to the point where like every time I posted a track that had like sampling or like any old hip hop elements, they would be like, Hideki vibes, Jet Set Radio, and I was like, let me just look this up. That's just because he he was he was a big he was a big Busta fan fan, and he and he worked for Sega, so you know. Yeah, Busta Rhymes, you know, classic Sega employee. Yeah, you know. (laughs) He made all those games. That would have been dope if Busta worked for Sega. Holy that. shit! <laughs> how, how, how did you feel about how did you feel about Busta being on the Masked Singer? <laughs> we don't talk about the fucking Masked Singer. Don't even ask me that question. Like honestly, fuck out of here. I don't even want to hear about the Masked Singer. Oh fuck! Good times. That show makes me want to foam at the mouth. <laughs> I watch it. I watch it regularly. (laughs) I watch it all the time. It's so bad. I love it. All right. Sorry. So for people who who are like me and don't know shit about the mass singer other than that, like they turn their seats around and they go, they make faces like, what about it makes you so angry? (laughs) Celebrity furry mystery. (laughs) That's the three word synopsis. No, it's like these fucking like celebrities they go and they wear like a costume and then they like sing and then you have to be like what what is it they, you have to fucking guess like who the fuck it is or like you don't know who yeah. the fuck it is i don't know pretty Some much dumb shit 
And, 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 and the word celebrity is in quotations, by the way. There, there's no A-list celebrities, except Busta. <laughs> he deserves he better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a fun segment. That was very fun. All yeah, right, fuck excellent. the mass Singer. It's <laughs> <laughs> my public opinion. What if we did the Masked Singer Newgrounds edition? Would, would you would you get in a costume? No, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that sounded so offensive. I was like, no, ew, I sounded like so genuinely disgusted. Um, but no. I would- <laughs> Since Zinnick says he, he'd do it with, with a Josh costume, so. Okay. All right, all right. Anyways, I don't know if you picked that picked up on the mic, but okay, it did. Excellent. Anyways, anyone on Newgrounds in particular that you've been looking at and been like, damn, they're fucking fire. Um, I don't know. I feel like everybody who is like my friend and who I follow on Newgrounds is fucking fire. Um, no Corona for like art. Beautiful. Um, trying to think of like who else I'm like really following right now. Stratemeyer always. That's yeah, Stratemeyer is fucking the goat. That's He's the, the goat. Homie. Yeah, I'm so bummed he didn't get the what was it? Uh, the uh, ugly mum of the third didn't even like make notable mentions for the month. That made me so upset. <laughs> yeah, honestly, that was some dirty shit. But it's okay. My dog's growling in the background. You can ignore. <laughs> All right, get him on. Get him on the show. We'll interview yeah, him. What, what does he no. think about uh, Newgrounds? How does how does he yes. like the masked singer? <laughs> yes, he like the masked singer. He just kind of like licked his lips at me. That was it. So I, I don't like, really mm, know if that's a yes that or show. a no. <laughs> good times. Good times. I guess on the flip side of the other question, is there anyone on Newgrounds you think is like super underrated, like that really deserves more attention? Um, I don't know how the fuck to say his username. It's like, <laughs> I, I don't want to say it wrong, but it's like Dyswix or Dswix. I've seen him on like a bunch of different like game, um, like different games on there and, um, does not have enough followers and that's kind of rude. That is rude. Fucking people. Um, <laughs> we're talking to all of you listening at home right now, you bastards. Yeah. Why aren't you following them? Assholes. Go click follow or get away. If you haven't yeah. followed, why don't you leave, go follow, and then come back? Thanks. Did someone in his, chat, can someone pull it up? <laughs> his username is D I E S W Y X. Yes. Dieswix. 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 Whatever. Nuts. It don't matter how you say it, just follow it. So, what about video games and stuff? Do you play a lot of video games? Yeah. Yeah, probably too much. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think. Like, um, which one am I playing the most recently? I feel like the one that I'm always playing like way too much is just like fucking Stardew Valley because that's like a disturbing obsession. Um, but aside from that, I feel like the other game that I play the most right now is like Phasmophobia. I feel like because of music shit, I haven't had it like time to go and like play as many like console games as I would have liked to. So it's always just like. The games that I can hop on after I, like, finish a song and just, like, dick around in for a little bit. But I can't get too attached to anything right now. I have, like, too much shit going on. And if I start playing a game, then I'm just going to want to do that instead. That's why you play Stardew. You can just go water your farm and, you know, yeah. go, go, go hit on one of the villagers for a bit and then go back to work. Yeah. I feel like the Stardew. only other thing that I do every single day is I'm I'm trying to fucking make the speed run list. I want a record in Super Mario 3, any percent, warpless. That's what I'm trying for. Every day I sit and I toil and I play my little game and I wait Ooh. for me to get faster. One day. As long as, I, I, um, as long as I'm on the board. That would be you've been uh, You've been streaming that while you're trying to do it? No. I'm going to wait till I have, like, I, I know I have a better time. Because, like, what if I want, like, I don't want to be on the list, but be, like, number 180-something. Like, that's some bullshit. I got to at least be within the first hundred. Then I'll start streaming. Top 100. <laughs> <laughs> Top 100 Star, Stardew Valley streamer. Super Mario 3. Pay attention, Ben. Jesus Christ. Wow. What? Wow. Wow. All right. Yeah. Calling me out like that. 
I see. I see. <laughs> All right. On games, though, I know you've mentioned that you uh, you're a big you like want to do like stuff for fighting games. Are there any uh, fighting games in particular that you're like a real big fan of? Um, besides like Street Fighter and stuff, that I grew up playing like Street Fighter, so I'm very very partial. Um, I don't know. I mean, like, I can't picture like myself. Like, we putting music in any of those games. Although, if they ever did, that would be, like, really fucking cool. I would just be, like, I would be weirded out that they chose me, I guess. But, um, I don't know. I just really want to write for a fighting game. I think they're so fun. And I think, like, the music there has the capabilities to go so many different places, depending on, like, what the vibe of the game is. Like, I don't know. I, I really like games like that. They can kind of go anywhere. Like, I don't think I've seen, like, two fighting games with, like, I don't know. Like, they always have different sounding soundtracks. There's so many cool fucking elements you can add into there. I really appreciate shit like that. There's so much wiggle room. Yeah, I feel like a lot of iconic character, like, like character, like, theme songs have come, like, directly out of Street Fighter. Like, you have Guile's theme, you have friggin' Ryu's theme. I'm trying to remember who else, who else had, a, like, a banger theme. Honestly, like, all the characters have just really good themes going on in that song, in, the, yeah, in that game. And my friend recently introduced me to um, the series Streets of Rage. Fucking Yo, Streets of Rage, beautiful sick. soundtrack. Fucking beautiful soundtrack. I fucking nutted seven times in a row. I swear, that shit was gorgeous. To... Who was it who did it? I know he did shit on Hotline Miami. I can't remember his name, but he fucking killed it on that. Yeah, at least we can find it on Spotify. Beautiful. Yeah, because that. Oh my god. Who was your Streets of? What was your main for Streets of Rage? Oh, I didn't play it. I didn't play it. You I've didn't only listened to the soundtrack. No, I told you I only listened to the soundtrack. I, like, just learned about this very recently. Play Streets of Rage 4. You will not regret it. It's Bet. such a good time. Bet. I'm trying to remember who it was who made it, but there's a guy who, uh, the guy who, Scaddle, that's who I'm thinking of. Was, oh, no, he did a song on it. Never mind. I'm dumb. But uh, Street Fighter, though, what, who, what, what's your, since you played a lot of that, what's your Street Fighter, man? Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know, it kind of depends. Do you, are you, like, asking for a specific, like, game? I don't know. It, it, I mean, do you play more than one? Or just in general? No, ah, just in general, I guess. Or, like, and honestly, whatever your favorite Street Fighter game is. Mm. <laughs> you I'm can't really, narrow it down. I, I really fuck no, I can't, because I switch between so many. Like that's yeah, how I am in a lot of different fighting games. Like I don't really have like one person who I like definitely like this is my main forever, except in like Smash. Like, right, do you have like a, a group three. of friends you do you have like a group of friends you play with like regularly when you play Street Fighter and stuff like that? No, it's just my brother. Well that's that's close <laughs> I don't enough, have yeah. Friends. No, it's the same thing. Like I noticed when I played like with my friends, it was like always the same two or three guys. It wasn't a big group. And I guess be, like, I'm because of that, that way. Because of that, like, that's, thinking, that's like, why you switch down. characters because they they yeah. catch on to one character, so you switch, and you don't have a main. You just like whatever he picks, you pick the guy. It's like it's like picking rock paper scissors. That's I guess if I'm starting off that way, and I'm thinking like, who am I picking the second that I sit down? M Bison, baby. <laughs> M Bison. There you go. Back in my day, we didn't have M. Bison. He was just a boss. <laughs> you're old. Yeah. And Josh is like 72. Back. 73. 73, if you multiply his age by two. But I mean, he's already halfway there, so I mean... Oh, oh, oh wait, no, that's where you're 40. Career. What am I talking about? <laughs> I didn't I didn't pass math class. Math's hard. Guys, what's 9, nine plus 10? What's 9 plus 10? Well... Got it. Got it. Whoa! <laughs> All right. And I'm looking at my question list, and I am running out of questions. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just make some new ones. Well, here, here's the right. thing. When you run out of questions in an interview, the safest place you can go, Milky Possum, what did you have for breakfast today, and what is your favorite breakfast? Shit. You want me to answer that now? Because I will. Oh um, yeah! Uh, <laughs> Serious question. Me trying to think back to what I ate for breakfast. I'm pretty sure it was chips and salsa because I just like rolled out of bed and I was really mad that I had to wake up and I was hungry. But like my favorite breakfast is probably okay. I get really bougie and I'll dead ass make salmon and rice almost every morning for breakfast. 
and it's Holy pure shit. IQ food. And it, it sounds like it would take a while. It doesn't at all, but it's IQ food. It's good. Do, do, do you actually cook the salmon every day, or do you just buy like the honey baked salmon or whatever that's already good to go? No, I cook it. Damn. I need that shit fresh. Damn. That's some work. I'm dedicated to the grind. The salmon grind. <laughs> the salmon grind. Um, unless it's salsa and chips day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Friday's different. Friday's a different day. Friday, Friday's hit weird. <laughs> yeah. They hit a little <laughs> fucked up. I, right, I was gonna save this to 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 for later, but you know we're at the halfway point of the show, and I and I need to know. Mm-hmm. All right, piss in my mouth. Why? <laughs> okay. Why? Like why? Why not? I thought, I thought it would be I funny. Did... <laughs> I what, what, thought what? it would be silly. Um. So originally, the the reason why it happened was because like I was just dicking around like. This was, like, right as I was going into the horrific music block, like, two weeks of my life, which I fucking hated. And, uh, I was, like, I started making the song. And originally, it was something completely different. And I think I still have the file of what it was going to be. It was, like, this old-school disco-soundy thing with, like, disco kind of, like, vocals and shit like that. And I started on it. And I got stuck. And I got so mad that I deleted all the cool stuff that I had and then sang about uh, piss in my mouth and uh, posted that because I was pissed off. <laughs> it, was, it was actually supposed to be something like really, it was supposed to be good, but uh, it, it, it just became what it was now. <laughs> I was, that was like actually, I think the first song that I saw of you, Josh posted that in the, the, the party game server. And I just, I listened to that and the first thing I was like thinking, I was like, this is the most Newgrounds thing I think I've ever listened to. <laughs> Like, if you don't like piss, then, like, what's wrong? Yeah, what's wrong? Well, Josh talks problem? about it all the time. Piss and poop, you know? That's piss, his poop, go-to. Farts, whatever. I'm, I'm down. I'm down with it. Down. So, so See, I guess now, my question is, when's the sequel? <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know. I don't know where, even where, what, the, what the sequel should be. Where do, where do we piss in the next song, I guess? That's the real question. <laughs> I can sing about this time that one of my ex-roommates pissed on me by accident. <laughs> what? <laughs> I won't, elaborate. I won't, I won't elaborate. Describe what we were doing. Okay, we were doing something. Something I'm not gonna say, but we were doing something. Okay, and we got a little weird that night. And at one point, <laughs> we ended up in. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know how far we can go with the legality of these stories here. But uh, you know, we re- we went to the we went to the bathroom, and I was like, "Let's go into the bathtub. It'll be great, and we can pretend <laughs> we are in a rocket ship." And so we were like, not, not not naked, by the way. We were like fully clothed. So I got her to like get in the bathtub with me, and we were just sitting there like a bunch of fucking idiots in my bathtub, like dying laughing. And uh, she laughed so hard, that, like she was kind of sitting on top of me, and she pissed on me, and uh, my eyes opened wide. <laughs> that day. I remained remained vigilant from that day on. (laughs) Something within me awoke. (laughs) Well, that has to be a song now. There's no reason not to do that. Yeah. Piss in the tub. Maybe I could, like, find her somehow. I don't even know where the fuck she is right now. I think she moved to, like, Massachusetts. Yeah. I'll just get her, like, on here. Give me some vocals. What else? All right. Shit. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> All right. Josh. Josh, I'm going to have to I'm going to have to have you say something while I think of shit to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind him, folks. <laughs> He's up. new. He's new. He's new. To be fair, to be fair, Milky, you do talk pretty fast. Like most most people would have drawn this out a lot longer. And I actually appreciate it because we can get the shit done and wrapped quicker. So thank you for being efficient. Oh shit, Billy. Hey! Nobody. 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 Alright, so quick editor's note. In the next couple of seconds, I'm about to freeze up and I'm not going to be able to continue doing the interview. So Zin's going to kind of hop in and take over. So if you're wondering why Zin just starts talking out of nowhere, <laughs> that's why. No, don't worry, you're not crazy. Um, but um, we did, unfortunately, didn't get the first part of his question. He didn't start recording right away. So the first question he asked was, what's your uh, favorite wrestling move? So anyways, that's it. Back to the show. Ooh, I, I'm 
my favorite because it's dangerous and fun is uh, sliced bread. That's where I got one of my concussions from. That's what the concussion came from that took me out. But damn if it wasn't great. Um, and then aside from that, when I was wrestling, my finisher was always um, an elbow drop from the top rope. Just keep it simple, but it was so fucking fun. That was my favorite. Macho Man fan? Or Macho Man fan? I love Macho Man. No, the correct response is, ooh, yeah! Oh, you're right. Wait, what is, oh, how yeah. do you, wait, describe sliced bread though. I don't understand. What do you do when you're slicing bread and did so, you, did you come up with that name or was that already named? No, uh, it's a thing. Bro, do you even uh, wrestling? Come I on, don't, bro. I don't, Josh. Bro. You're the only one who showed me bro. wrestling. <laughs> I don't bro. know how to describe it. Like, it's yeah, so, I feel like it's, you have to see it visually. Like, you have to like, y- you as like, if I was doing it and I was the person who was like running up the road, like you literally have to like run up the ropes like almost like sideways and you're holding on to somebody to balance it's like a running what flip the off hell? the fucking ropes you, you run it's up great. the ropes like it's like a wall run but up the ropes you have the guy's head you kind of do a flip in the air and then like i don't know if you know what a bulldog is but you basically smash his head into the ground on the way down oh my yeah. god this sounds like just like one of my japanese animes it's fucking wild <laughs> dude. oh also yeah. you said you said three concussions what does it take to get a concussion <laughs> while you're wrestling Oh, stupidity. What is it? Um, (laughs) Stupidity. (laughs) Yeah, the first first time I got one was because of stupidity. So I was, like, practicing my flips. And uh, I was trying to get, like, a shit ton of height on this one front flip. And I was just, like, going at it. But I I was, like, already really fucking tired. And at one point, I just jumped up in the air. And I just, I don't know what happened, but my mind just forgot to rotate. So I jumped up and landed straight on my fucking top of my head. And I fucking... Yeah, it was so bad. So I felt my neck. I thought I broke my neck. I felt my neck crack. And I saw these fucking, like, firework looking shits behind my eyes. And I was like, <laughs> I died. I died. I died. And then I woke up and I was like, I'm here? Cool. Dude, that's wild. You're like, this is how it ends. <laughs> yeah. And it was pretty sick. That, and is, then, uh, <laughs> that, is, that is pretty sick. And, and, and you're in front of a whole crowd that was probably freaking out as well. Oh, no. This was during practice, thankfully. Oh, my God. No, no, no nobody. I, I never got a concussion, like, in front of people. So that was the first one. That was your first one ever? Yeah. All right. So what What? What about the second one? Does it get worse? Or is that like, was that the The epitome? second one was from the sliced bread. This was, was from, <laughs> so I, all right, I have this, I don't know why, but I always did, I specifically only wanted to do like intergender wrestling. I just didn't like wrestling. No offense. I love women's wrestling, but yeah. not maybe the women in my area. I don't like them. So, <laughs> and so it's okay, wait. So that was why anymore. that that was why you wanted inner um intergender wrestling was because you didn't like also, the women in there. People just don't fucking do it enough. People just don't do it enough, and I wish it was a bigger thing. Like I I feel like so my experience and obviously it's gonna depend on like what area you are and what schools are around and how people are training people and shit like that. But there's like such a stigma about how you how you're gonna train girls when they wrestle, and they have these bitches throwing the weakest fucking moves. And I'm like, no, I'm sorry. Like if you're gonna hit me, please hit me. Like I'm not here to get like shoved. Like I would like somebody to please, please, pot. I'm begging you, punch me and kick me in the chest. But like <laughs> they won't do it. So like I, I wrestled a bunch of big dudes. And uh, one of those dudes was too big for my sliced bread, and he took me down with him, like, way too hard, and my head got slammed into the ground. Oh, no. Like, and, yeah, I died a little well, bit. Well, male wrestlers are, like, what? Are they always, like, six foot tall? Or did you even get to, like, pick the the other dude you were wrestling with? Like, I don't... Were you matched up is basically what I'm asking? Or did they just no, throw I you mean, with No, I mean, if whoever? it's, like, during class, it, we could just, like, kind of go with whoever. So, normally, I used to go with, like, my... The, the dude who, who was, like, my BFF in wrestling school at the time was, like, the six... Six something, big ass motherfucker. Oh my god! And, uh, yeah, it was great. He was you chose you chose wrestling. the biggest dude in the room. <laughs> like, yeah, that's not a bad thing though. That's not a bad thing a lot of times because like a lot of the moves involve well, a lot of the moves involve your opponent catching you and making sure you don't get hurt. And so having a big guy is not always a bad thing. But I can see having you know three hundred pounds of fucking dude falling with you being risky. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I have a question. What did they ever have like concerns for you? Like, did they ever like at, like were they like, are you sure? And like, what what was your favorite move to like choreography? I know you said sliced bread is pretty good, but was there anything where like they would like throw you or like was it fun being like the the lighter person? Is what I'm asking because it sounds dangerous. It sounds extremely dangerous. I think so. I think I had a lot of fun, mostly because I really liked doing a lot of shit on the ropes and like especially if I was like doing like a little like we were doing like 
doing a tag match or something like that. Like then I had a lot of time on the ropes. So having like somebody else there to like catch me in different moves and shit like that and to like do different moves off of and over and around and shit like that. That's really fun. Especially if you have good chemistry with the person that you're like wrestling with in the ring. That's cool. Now, what did your parents think? Cause you're you're having fun doing all this shit. What are they like? What are they thinking about it? Did they wrestle at all? How did you even get involved in it? Uh, no, none of my parents, <laughs> none of my parents wrestled. But uh, my dad watched wrestling, so that's pretty much like how how I got into it. He thought it was fucking cool as shit that I was doing that. So my dad, I remember at the time, like, I think I had a moment where, like, my car was broken. And my dad, dad asked, like, would take me to go <laughs> to the classes because I fucking, I was so excited. He was, like, he was hella supportive of it. My mom, every time I do something, she's like, bro, what the fuck? I swear to God, if you get hurt one more time. And I'm like, mom, that's how you live and learn. So Aww. she she got, she got over it, though. She got over it. That's That's awesome. My God. And then that that lasted what three years, right? Three years of wrestling. Yeah, yeah. And, and then like yeah, because right after, right when I like really stopped was like when when uh COVID hit, because I was gonna go to another wrestling school at that point. Um, and then COVID hit, so everything like shut down. And then at that point, I think like the last things that I had really been doing was like cosplay wrestling at like different conventions, and that was it. Okay, I see. I see. Well, I'm going to admit I didn't prepare for this interview because I didn't think I was going to come on. But you did say that you you and Cam were working on something, you and Ninja Muffin 99. How did that even happen? Um <laughs> who hit up who? Oh, who God. hit who hit up who? Like did um, did so you reach I... out to Cam or did he reach out to you? It was like, "Hey dude, I like your stuff." We were talking before I made a new grounds. Um because I was on TikTok and I refuse to acknowledge that. I <laughs> um well, wait anyways, wait 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 what were you posting on tiktok i think i've seen a few tweets of yours and they're they're kind of i think listen, they're funny i think they're funny they're a little cringy I don't get me wrong no, but that's like the point the, okay i was making them to be cringy because i thought it would be silly and so um i forgot at one point i think it was something really fucking cringy too but like they had just released like the first first like releases of the friday night funkin shirts and i had been like following the game since like october so i was like oh sick let me buy it and i like didn't even like pass my mind that i was wearing it in my tiktok and then like cam saw it messaged me and then i think from that point we just like kind of started messaging like on and off oh that's nice actually oh my god about music or just just messaging like his friends that's cool oh my oh yeah. my god i'm blushing over here that's nice <laughs> <laughs> turns out turns out not only was she cool but she makes the music and she makes new grounds happy i see you front page so often milky it's like it's your your presence I'm is, shook. is I aware shook. i remember like it was my first fucking song that i ever posted and first of all i had that done for like two days and i was like i should no i should no, I will. No, I won't post it. And then I posted it. And then I remember waking up the next day and it was like front page. And I was like, but this is the first thing I made. Like, I don't even know. Like, oh, fuck. And then I don't know. That was like really fucking encouraging for me. Like, I'm glad that moment happened. Now, you're saying your first song, like that was your first song ever. That was that my you... first upload. On oh, first yeah, upload. Yeah, but congrats. it wasn't the first song you ever made. It was the first song that I made with an original melody. I didn't start making songs with, like, my own melodies until I started posting here because I was scared and I thought that I couldn't do it and that it would suck. <laughs> so, yeah. What gave you the, the courage to finally branch off of... Uh, I guess that would mean not using samples, right? Well, Is I feel it... like you can still incorporate samples with a uh, melody, but I feel like what, what made me, like, start posting on here and, like, actually sharing my, like, original music was because, like, I... I feel like a lot for a really long time, like, I feel like I really loved all the hobbies that I was doing, but I was really only doing a lot of those hobbies because I didn't think that I was capable enough and wasn't talented enough to make it into um, the gaming industry, like, even in indies, like, wow. I didn't think that I could do it. And um, my brother, he is really, really fucking smart, and he he programs and codes and, and he makes music as well, and he has been working in like games um he's like does a lot in the industry like even just internships and things like that and I was like well he already does it and so like there's no point like I'm not going to be good at any of this I thought that maybe I'd want to do art originally I wanted a program 
um, and I fucking hate programming. <laughs> but And then I was like, maybe I'll do art. Um, and I didn't feel confident enough in what I was putting out. Um, so I was like, fuck it, dude. Like, I really, I've always liked game soundtracks. And if I don't try, then I'm going to be, like, really sad that I never tried to get into the industry. But yeah. So uh, is so music it. something that, like, is that something that kind of, like, is it like a family thing? Or do, like, your parents uh, play any instruments? No, they don't. Uh, my dad was a DJ. Uh, that's oh, shit, Sam. Yo! Yeah, uh, my dad was a DJ. Like, that, I feel like. Definitely shaped a lot of, like, my music tastes and, and shit like that. But uh, that was pretty much, like, as musical as anybody really got. Uh, but, like, yeah, like, my brother and I, like, my brother plays, a, oh, like, a bunch of instruments. He's really fucking talented. I'm trying to get him on Newgrounds, too. <laughs> what prompted you to uh, pick up, uh, like, an instrument? Um, I've been playing piano forever. Um, and originally I started, <laughs> I started because I think I was, I don't even know how old I was, but I was playing Toho. So I had to be like, <laughs> I had to be like 10 or some shit. And, uh, I was just like messing around. I wanted to play the music on the piano. So then I started playing piano, but I've been playing it from before too. But then like, I feel like at that age, I started to take it more seriously. And then, uh, bass I picked up. I want to say in like 20, 20, like 13 or something like that. And I just, I love bass lines. That's like my favorite part of like a lot of different music. So I, I thought it would be funky to play it. So I did. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Bass is pretty fucking sick. I have a lot of respect for people who play bass. And I feel like it's like, at least m like melodically is like something that's not like utilized enough in music. I feel like it's always like kind of in the background. I fucking yeah. love when people do like put that shit front and center. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Bass and, like, drums especially, I feel like. When they're, like, front and center, I think it's really nice. So, out of... So, you were calling, like, okay, so... Tattooing was a <laughs> hobby. Wrestling was a <laughs> hobby. Pro what, did you take interpretive dance at one point? Like, was there... How many hobbies <laughs> did you have to run through <laughs> You want before? me to, like, think about all of them all through? I can try and, like... I can try and make a, a little list. Let me see. Well, to I me, did... to me, it just seems like you, you're the type of person that likes to express yourself creatively, so you kind of pick up a lot of different things and say, hey, I want to do this. Hey, I want to try this. And you gain those experiences. That's what it seems yeah. like to me. Yeah, I definitely think so. And also, I feel like I just hopped around from thing to thing because, like... It, some things would be fulfilling to me in one aspect and then in another aspect it wouldn't so like for a long time I would have like I would be like I was tattooing but I was also wrestling so like I would have like one thing that kind of like I guess like stimulated my mind more and then one thing that was more like of a physical thing that would be like satisfying I guess so like that's kind of like how I did it for for a while but I was just trying to like figure out like I just wanted to find something that made me like happy because I felt, like, so weird and, like, lost. Like, I was having fun, definitely. But, like, I feel like just because I was having fun, it didn't mean that, like, I wasn't, like, weird and lost and trying to, like, find something that made me happy because I was too scared to, like, try doing what I really wanted to do. Which was make music for video games, like the indie culture, right? Yeah. And yeah. and you've been doing that for how long right now? Um... I guess now, since since I started Newgrounds, that was when I, like, literally started, which it's, like, crazy to me. So, like, even the other day, I was looking back at memories. Like, I go to PAX East, like, every single year. And I remember last year, I went to PAX East, and my brother, he was, like, networking with so many different people and asking, like, these questions. And I was too scared to ask, like, any questions to any of the fucking devs at any of the indie booths and stuff because I was like I, I was like I don't belong here like I don't belong here like I'm not talented enough to be here and shit like that I literally remember crying at fucking PAX East because I was like I'm never gonna do what I want to do because I can't fucking do it and it's pissing me <laughs> off and then uh, my brother literally brought that up like yesterday at fucking dinner I went over to eat dinner with my family and he was like I told you so and I was like yeah fuck off whatever <laughs> thanks for believing in me though kiss kiss <laughs> So it was so just you awesome. being nervous, is what it. It was just you being nervous, right? Everyone has that that kind of guilt or doubt in themselves, and you you kind of just like just felt like, uh, I'm not able yeah. to. And Newgrounds yeah. is like, yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty can. much. <laughs> I was like, oh, you guys, you guys like this? All right, cool. <laughs> and I feel like, uh, like after like the first like couple of posts and stuff like that then I stopped like I feel like I wasn't nervous anymore and now I'm just excited about like what I'm making and doing and like I don't know I get like really excited to make stuff now it's like my favorite thing to do so you feel Everybody's happy. excited to hear it so we all win 
Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, I would say, like, like, definitely right now for the first time in my life, like, just, like, getting over, like, the fear of, like, putting my more, like, intimate, I guess, creative side out there, like, that's definitely made me feel so happy and, like, satisfied. In a way that none so of your other hobbies did. Yeah, because I mean, like, I feel like a lot of the other things that I did, like, they were good, like, they were good things, but, like, there was nothing that I really felt like I was bringing that was, like, super, super duper original, you know? Like, they all, like, learned things that a lot of other people can do, too. Like, and and so is this, but I guess, like, I don't know, for me, like, music is very personal. Like, you know, these are sounds that are coming from, like, the deepest little reaches of your brain and shit. Like, and that's a lot more difficult to express than, like, doing a sick-ass sliced bread. <laughs> well, there's, there's art in a sliced bread don't don't sell it short come on now. not everybody can nah, do- nah. there definitely is yeah if you don't put passion in your wrestling it fucking shows that shit looks no gross exactly me. that's the thing with the wrestling and I, I think it shows through in your music a little bit like you have to have something personal um so like all these things you've done have, have been stepping stones to what you want to do if you really think about it um, yeah but uh yeah so we gotta kind of wrap up here soon but i have like one question for oh, you oh. Uh, Ben's probably got one too. I got um, two. I got two questions. But my my big question for you is: Is somebody who who hit new grounds and and just like exploded in such a short time, and you talked about like your hesitation to do that? What advice would you give to other people who maybe have just been kind of lurking on new grounds and just haven't haven't felt confident enough to make that jump? What would you tell them to maybe make them make the same plunge you made? Um. I guess just that, like, you're really your own worst enemy in that regard. Like, as long as you keep holding yourself back is as long as your progress is going to continue to be held back. And until you decide that you can feel comfortable, like, letting that out, even if you're not 100% comfortable, but even if you just post something, just to post it, you know? Like, you're not going to let yourself grow until you give yourself a starting point You because you won't have anything to work off of. And I think it's better to have something that you're disappointed in and got better from or like you feel like you're working towards something more than to just not post anything at all. Yeah, and that fear that fear is crippling. But once you get past it, like even if you, even if you don't put something good out, you're going to get feedback that will make you better. So be, be a milky possum and just do it. Do it, guys. Do it! Do it! Just do it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Ben, oh, what you got? What you yeah, got? Cool. All right, what so you got? Are, you, are, you mentioned uh, you mentioned Pax East, and that, that reminded me. So you're part of you're, you're part of that the infamous vine sauce picture. I think you were like Usina or something. <laughs> yeah. what, what's the story behind that? So I've seen Vinny. Vinny goes to a, like obviously he lives like he lives in the same like kind of area ish, I guess. Like you know, like New York, Delaware, New Jersey, all that kind of shit. So we go to a lot of the same conventions. So I see him a lot. And um, I was like, I knew he was going to be at PAX East and whatever. And I always go and bug him. So uh, I was like, hey, guess what? Um, Can you take a picture together? But I'm going to do something. And you just like, I don't know, just just react how you want to. So that's kind of how that happened. <laughs> and then you have another question, right, Bull? Well, they said that's right. That's too. right. Okay. All right. So, 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 so what are your thoughts on marriage? I, I know you and Meryl are... Uh, and you know you have a- <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts on marriage sweating sweating, sweating, sweating. heavily <laughs> <laughs> well i think it's great being married i love being married um i love my wife um we're gonna have kids soon oh my god it's my wife special guest meryl <laughs> <laughs> i gotta all right i gotta i got a question love you too babe i got a really i got a really serious question really everyone yeah. everyone stop talking everyone stop Stop talking. I see. Stop. You in chat. Be quiet. All right. Here's the question. Here's a really deep question. Now, how do you feel? Do you think, how do you feel mentally? Like compared to all your other hobbies? I know you're telling me that you you feel a lot happier doing this, but is there a part of you that's going to miss everything else that you have done? And is there a part of you that still kind of doubts yourself or like, how do I put this? Do you feel fulfilled now? Do you, th- do you think this will last? Is there a part of you that kind of doubts that this will last? Or is it due to you working with creatives like Ninja Muffin 99 or like uh, the potential working with Jack and Stepford and like all these other game devs? Is is that just enough to where you feel like this is where you want to be now? Um, I would say that even just like posting tracks, even if I'm not on a project, because like obviously that's where I had to start. Like I, do, I wasn't on anything right off the bat or anything like that. 
But that made me feel like really fucking fulfilled. And um, like before I even posted and stuff and I was considering, I was scared that like it wasn't going to work. And I'm so tired of having like temporary fucking hobbies. It feels like you're like moving constantly. Like when you're like moving fucking houses. Like I, I, that's how I felt like mentally. And it was annoying. And I just wanted to find something that works. And I was like, I know the answer. I just have to fucking do it. Um, and yeah, I would say like right now I'm probably the most mentally like happy and fulfilled that I've been in a really long time and working, like getting to work with people and be in projects with people only like makes that like more like that's just like icing on the freaking cake, you know, cause I being around like these passionate fucking creative ass minds who are like just as into their craft as you are in yours and bringing that together you get beautiful fucking shit from that. Like, it's incredible. And I think that is, like, that's something that keeps me going. But in general, like, on a baseline standpoint, like, I'm definitely fulfilled. And I definitely think that this is something that's going to last for a really long time. And hopefully um, will lead me to cool places. I love that. We're everyone all inspires We're... everyone. That's new ground. I... Hold on, Josh. Yeah. I have one question. You're trying to close the show. Give me one, one Whoa, more. We're left. crying. What? Right now, Sim. Mil- All right, that's it. This is the light. We're gonna finish it on this. Uh, Milky Possum. Oh, what you out. what is your support question. system? Like, what is, is it? Your family? Is it your friends? Is it the people you're working with? It, what, like, what is your strongest support system? Because I know personally from talking to artists, communities, everything, having friends there to back you up or motivate you, or at least someone in the mix that can can help you, like, f- help you when you're feeling down. You know, what do you, yeah. what, do you what do you believe is your support system? My, my best friend and my brother, those are like my supports. Like I'm, I'm still definitely like getting used to like making friends on here. <laughs> it's very like new. I feel like even though I've done so many like crazy hobbies and shit like that, like I am, I don't know. I'm not very like, I never really had that many friends. And um, the ones that I do, I, like, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm good at like talking to people. Yeah. But like, I don't know. I never really had any like good friends that stuck around and I feel like you know I met my my one best friend I met him last year and we are like super super fucking close and like that's like probably my biggest support right now like so yeah I call him up by name Everything. give him a give him a shout out call him up by name come on slow poke slow poke miss slow girl poke. Aaron oh, baby that's my boy that's the boy that's my fucking brother baby yeah so well, before we go, do you have uh, anybody else you want to give shout outs to for any various reasons or any um, projects you want to plug? Um, Always and forever shout out to Stradmeyer and Connor Grill. They're my homies. Oh, I love yeah. Them. We are working on many, many things that you will see soon. Um, and yeah, aside from that, keep a lookout from like uh, the project that I have with Cam and Figburn. That's going to come out in the future. Um, it's pretty much... All and she'll right, have more tracks coming out like every other day because that's what she does. Yeah. Uh, sometimes I just sit and things happen. <laughs> Hell yeah. Josh, I'm gonna slice bread you. That this sounds weird, but you know what I mean. What is what is you're gonna hurt yourself? Slice bread him. I'm gonna slice his bread. You know what Yo, this is yeah. what that slice. <laughs> slice his bones. That bread ain't right. like free slice. I'm gonna slice, slice that bread. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for listening to the show, everybody. Apparently, we're all going out for sandwiches. Uh, been, <laughs> thanks yeah, for that's thanks for coming on. <laughs> <laughs> we're making bread. Go put some salami in there. All right. <laughs> Thank you, I everyone. Have celiac disease. <laughs> Thanks for coming out. I have Thanks, Milky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Jacob. Jacob's we were so celiac. close to <laughs> ending on a wholesome note with the whole <laughs> support system. Now we end on we're, celiac hey, disease. Hey, yeah. <laughs> we're ending on whole wheat bread. That's bread. wholesome. Bread. Salami. All right. Bread. Love you guys. Yeah. Kisses. Bye. Good night. I am made of fire. <laughs> Thank you for listening to the New Grounds podcast. This show is recorded live on our Discord server. Join us at bit.ly slash NGP Discord. For the latest news, follow us on Twitter at the NG Podcast. Thank you to Waterflame for the use of his song, Gabberfly. Goodbye.